Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, so we're back here for the part two, uh, should be final part of uh, the estate sale that I got. Um, basically, everything is just box sets that I got for TV shows. Um, and then there's one, I believe, no, two movie collections. Um, so everything's up here on the table. Uh, and then I have one big box set down here just because it just didn't fit. Um, and I got four book or yeah, four books. Um, three of them are movie related. And the other one, uh, if you like vinyls, it's a pretty cool book. Um, just to kind of get and go through, gives you information about different vinyls and stuff. Um, so first thing I'm going to start off with this Chuck. Um, I bought this for $30, uh, retails around 60 to 80. Uh, I looked at some of the, you know, the eBay sales bought and sold. Um, and that's around the, the price range. To be honest, I've never seen one episode of this show. Uh, when it first came out, I've always been told that it was a you know good show, funny show. Um, but I never watched it. I never kind of got into it. I think it was a, uh, USA, uh, I believe so, um, show, but you know, I, yeah, I picked it up for 30 bucks. If I like it, you know, cool. I have a, a new show that I can watch and watch all the way through five seasons. So, you know, it's a good big series. Uh, so the next one is going to be the Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece collection. Um, so 15 movies of Alfred Hitchcock, obviously, you know, one of the best directors ever. Um, what's nice about this collection is you get the, uh, the movie North by Northwest on Blu-ray. Um, so basically with that movie, if you buy it by itself, I mean, you can see it's got, uh, everything for there's North by Northwest, you know, Psycho, the birds, all of his, you know, big movies. Um, and then on top of that, you get some of the smaller movies that, you know, you might not think, you know, yeah, he did, or you might not even know that he did. Um, but I mean, it's Alfred Hitchcock. All of his stuff's good. Um, obviously some better than, than others, but the thing is with North by Northwest, um, you can get that on Blu-ray by itself, but it's usually around 20 ish dollars or so. Um, so I figured why not just get the entire box set? I bought it for $15. Uh, so I got basically 15 movies for $15, which is, in my opinion, is an incredible deal. Um, that usually goes around $30 to $60 retail. Um, so, I mean, if you get it on eBay, again, you can probably get a, a better deal and probably get it around maybe $25-ish. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I got North by Northwest. I wanted to get it on Blu-ray. Um, so a lot of the other movies, some I do have. Obviously, you know, Psycho, Vertigo, um, all of those. I have uh, the 4K box set. Um, I'm going to get the Volume 2 box set too. I'm just waiting for it to come out to kind of a wider variety or wider audience because um, I know a lot of them sold out pretty quick. And I think even on Amazon, you can't get it or it's sold out or it's, you know, for the four to week or four to six week uh, delay. So I'm just waiting on that. But it's nice to have, you know, a big box set of all of his movies just kind of all in one. So whatever I want to watch. I can just, I can, you know, pop it in and I have it right at my fingertips. Uh, the other one, uh, the movie is Police Academy. And I believe there's seven, yeah, seven movies. Uh, some of them get a little crazier. Obviously, I think the first three I've seen, um, they're all pretty funny. You know, obviously, just that type of comedy, you know, back in the, the old, I keep saying old days. Uh, but around like the 80s and stuff is where, you know, the good comedy, I think, um, you know, they don't take themselves too serious. They know, you know, what their audience is. You know, they're the spoof kind of comedy. Um, once you, I, I think I'm kind of excited. I get the Mission to Moscow. Um, that's the last movie they ever did for this series or this, this movie series. Um, I've never seen it, but just the, the name alone makes me definitely want to watch it. So that's another series that I can kind of get through. Um, one of the box sets for TV series that I wanted to not wait. And as soon as I saw this on the website for the estate sale, I had to go get it day one. Uh, so it is the Grimm entire series collection. So what's nice about this is if you buy this, just, you know, at Best Buy or Amazon, um, you can only get it in those big hard uh, shells. Um, they're like they're called clam cases. Um, and then all the movie or all the discs are uh, stacked on top of each other. They fall out of it easily. It's just really big and bulky. And obviously this, you know, you can see it's pretty chunky. It's pretty big. Um, but what it is, is if you ever seen the show, you know, he has different monsters and it goes around like fairy tales and stuff like that. So it gives you, he has a book where like gives him 
tips and tricks on how to, you know, fight these, you know, demons and monsters and, and all that, werewolves. And, um, but then if you kind of go through it, each page, each disc has different artwork and stuff. I don't know how well you can see these, but has different artwork and stuff of like, you know, the different here, you know, here's a Wendigo. And then it goes through each season. And it, I mean, it's really cool because it gives you all the drawings of like stuff that was in the actual book and the show. But then, you know, it gives you like different background information in here. Uh, it gives you, you know, obviously the wolf man gives you, you know, maybe they use them in circuses and people went and visited them. So it's just a really cool kind of thing. Every single season's got every single, like every single page has one. Um, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so I really hate the clamshell box set just because it's not good. Um, like I said, the discs fall out all the time. So I was really wanting to get this, um, but again, I really didn't want to pay full price for it because um, I bought this for $60 and that was day one without any discount. Um, but they usually, the ones that I saw are around 140 to 160 um, like on eBay and that. So, and not a lot of them on there too. So, you know, they, when they do sell, they sell pretty quickly. Um, so extremely happy to get this. I, I wanted something a little bit more secure. So that's definitely nice. Uh, so the last box that I have, uh, like I said, he does, uh, you saw in the police Academy, he does, um, like European releases and overseas releases and stuff like that. Um, so this is the house box set. Um, so this is region free. Um, so basically what region free means is there's a region A, B, and C. Um, you know, we have the America and Canada and all that, then the European and then over in like China and all that over there. Um, so each region, if, if it's Blu-ray, it's set in one region. So basically if it's printed in that area, you can only watch it on that Blu-ray player that's made in that area. Um, so 4K is nice because 4K is region free no matter where you get it. So you can get it from Europe, you get it from China, it doesn't matter. If it's 4K, it's going to play on every single 4K. So that's why that format's really growing and and kind of picking up steam really quick because if I get a, you know, a steel book from, you know, London or Germany or whatever, if it's 4k, I can play it here and it's not just going to sit on my shelf. I can actually watch it. Um, but the big thing with this and the huge selling point is this has every single season in a nice little small clamshell. And then if you open it up to each one has its own little, kind of, you know, page or whatever you want to call it, um, little sleeve that they sit on. So that's definitely nice um, because then they kind of sit in there really well, which again, I say that they're sitting in there really well and then this one kind of just shifts over a little bit. Um, but I enjoy that better than the uh, the black clamshell. Again, like kind of what the Grim had, um, they... They didn't really sit well in the case. Uh, they fall over a lot. They break apart. Um, one thing, too, on eBay to look out for, I uh, actually had this happen to me, was I tried to buy this. They had a picture of this on their their uh, eBay page, like the actual sell, and then they shipped me the, the American version. And the American version is literally just one huge clamshell with every single season. They stack discs on top of themselves. So basically, they're you know they're gonna get scratched if they're you have three or four discs sitting on top of themselves, moving and shifting around. So this is nice as it's a box set, each individual, and it's region free. So even though this came from overseas, it can still play on my Blu-ray player, which is nice. Um, the only kind of weird thing is is that once you um, once you put it in there, it looks a little bit weird when you start off the episode, just because. It lists the episodes differently. It's not just, you know, a big main page and then that's it. You click on whatever episode. You have to kind of scroll through. It's a little weird to kind of get used to, but again, I paid, uh, let's see, $60 for that. Um, and then everything online that I've seen so far are around more of the 180 or so. And then, like I said, there's not a lot on eBay. And then the ones that are on eBay, some of them, they'll put this on there and then they'll send you the American version which I think the American version is around 80 to $90 retail, at least from what I saw. Um, so it's not a bad, a huge difference. Um, but, you know, you want to get the thing you paid for. Um, so that was all of the box sets and everything. 
Uh, and then let me grab the books real quick. We'll kind of just shoot through those. Um, you know, just give you a little rundown with these. Oh, let me grab them. Uh, so the first one is not movie related, but this is just a thousand record covers. Uh, it's really awesome. It kind of just goes through old school record covers, um, you know, the artwork and stuff. And I'm a huge fan of like, especially with movies, collecting them, uh, getting the different steel books and stuff like that. The artwork is a lot, usually what sells to a lot of people and why some people buy more than one copy of a movie because, you know, they like the artwork, they like the way it looks. So that's one thing too. It's just, it shows you a bunch of different record covers, gives you a little bit of information about it. So it's just a cool little book to have. I mean, all these books, I think, were a dollar each. So, you know, it's, it's nice. Uh, this one is really nice as well. It's basically a movie night menu. So it shows you food menu and drink menu. And then what it does is they're old movies. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see any of these. But it's just really, it's old movies. And then it does menu food items and drink items to each movie. Um, so the funny thing is, is I actually, when I uh, picked this up, I showed it to my brother, uh, and literally first day he went and, and, and bought this book online. I think it was like maybe three or four bucks. So it's not, it's not an expensive book by any means, but it's just cool. Cause you can have, you know, a movie night and you can do themes and make different drinks according to what, you know, what's in the movie, uh, different food items, what's in the movie. So it's nice, you know, if you want to have family or friends over, it's a cool little thing to be, you know, just drinks and it's according to whatever movie. And obviously, some of those movies I already have, so he's going to ask to borrow. Uh, and then I got a movie night trivia. So basically this, I mean, as you would assume, it's just trivia. So it's all of the different older movies, newer movies, Pixar movies, Disney, stuff like that. Um, but it just kind of gives you, like, you know, here's the uh, Lord of the Rings, or sorry, The Hab or the Hobbit. Um, so it kind of just gives you different information. There's trivia questions, gives you the answers. So it's, you know, just more information about movies that maybe I don't know. So that's one book that I want to kind of skim through. And then Must See Sci-Fi. So there's just 50 sci-fi movies uh, that you're supposed to see that, you know, are like the top tier everybody should see. Obviously, I'm assuming Aliens, you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey. A lot of those movies are going to be in here. Uh, same thing like the old school Time Machine uh, movie, which I've never seen the original old school. I'm still trying to find that so I can watch it. But, you know, it's, you know, obviously the, the old school blob, uh, that one's extremely good. That kind of scared me to death uh, when I first watched it. Uh, you have the original fly. You have the Jeff Goldblum fly in here. Um, so a lot of movies that you probably would know about. Obviously, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, the original, I think it's from the 70s. At least, no, this one's the earlier one. But, yeah, there's the other one from the 70s as well, 2000. Or 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the original. So, a lot of old school sci fi movies that, you know, like kind of introduced everybody to the genre and, and then sci fi and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, that's it for the estate sale. Uh, I feel like this one was a little bit less, but I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with some of the box sets just because they're rarer, they're harder to find. Um, so, definitely, they're fun to get into. Um, I've already watched some of them. I'm going to wait on Chuck, um, see if uh, the girlfriend wants to watch that with me, and then, you know, we'll kind of go from there. If not, just put it in the background and let it go and see if I like the show. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. So, again, you know, like if you liked it, uh, subscribe, uh, even turn on the bell notification. I'm going to try and do, hopefully, two videos a week-ish. Um, you know, I, I want to do... The new Top Gun is going to be coming up soon, so I want to go see that and review that. Um, I just picked up the two 4K um, the Scream Factory releases of Escape from New York and The Craft, so I want to watch those and kind of just see how the 4K looks against the old uh, Blu-ray. I do have the Blu-ray of the, uh, the Scream Factory of Escape from New York as well, and I know a lot of the times Scream Factory, their Blu-ray and 4K aren't too much of a difference, um, which is nice because you know obviously screen factory puts a lot of time and effort into their blu-ray releases so it's gonna be the upper echelon of blu-rays um so yeah so just you know things to come i, I got some some things that i, I want to review and go over and you know i'm gonna go over some other things you know more about me favorite movies stuff like that um so yeah if you have any questions comments anything like that let me know in the the comments underneath and we'll kind of keep these going